before starting your business, what were you doing? What was your occupation? Well, let me tell you this. Camille Rose is my second business. So when I finished graduate school, I, um, I, was have, I, I started having babies. And I was sitting at home like, okay, this ain't it. Like me sitting at home. My husband, my husband is a physician. He is an oncologist. And um, that whole doctor's wife thing mm -hmm. wasn't for me at all. I was constantly calling my friends that I graduated with, like, what are y'all doing? And they, they're like, what? We're working. I just got off the phone with you 10 minutes ago. Like, and <laughs> my husband had a conversation. He was like, you know, you always wanted to own your own business. This is the time. Just utilize this time that you have right now to do so. And ding, 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 ding. A light bulb went off in my head. And I'm like, you're damn right. And so that's when I got to work. And I, um, my background is working with um, traumatic brain injury patients, stroke victims, um, um, like special disorders, swallowing disorders and things like that. So I said, you know what? I want a, a home health care agency. Let me try to get into caring for the elderly. And so I did that for about eight years and I kind of got, so I would have, I had 55 employees in Louisiana under me. I then started a company out of Atlanta because that's where my husband was from. Mm -hmm. It was called New Beginnings Today. And it is a, a, a company there that we dealt with uh, kids who had behavioral issues. So New Beginnings Today, I sold right away because I'm like, I'm in Louisiana. That business is in Georgia. There's no way with my babies, I can manage all of this. And so I sold it. And I say, I always tell myself that was one of the smartest business moves I've ever made because um, my uh, clinical clinic clinicians under me, mm -hmm. that's they went to school for. That wasn't what I went to school for. I was just, I did the paperwork mm -hmm. together. And um, when I told them, okay, I can't do this. I'm going to close this business. Um, the director, my clinical director was like, sell it to me. I want to do this, you know? And I had 35 employees at the time I was thinking about closing. So I sold it to him. The company is big now. You know, he's all over Georgia. Um, with Acadiana Personal Care Services. That was my thing in Louisiana, uh, where I had 55 employees there. Um, so that was a success in itself. And I, what put me on the Camille Rose path, I would have younger patients with crazy ass diagnosis that was the same age as me. Like, you already had a stroke? Wait, what? You know, I'm sending my sending my CNAs to care for you. Well, what, what, huh? And that scared the crap out of me. So that started my whole. Let me get on my natural journey. Let me let me see what it's like to change my lifestyle a little bit. Yes. You're vegan, correct? I am. And you you're saying while doing this business, you're noticing people who are your age, maybe even younger, have already had strokes? Oh my God, yes. Um, oh God, it's just horrible out there what you see. You know, people who were once dignified and had jobs every day, waking up, taking care of their family. And it was just so sad to me, especially this younger guy. Uh, he was one of our patients and he couldn't, I don't know. He couldn't, uh, we were seeing him and he couldn't even control. He was like, I'm so sorry. Give me a minute. Like he couldn't control like his bowels. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I'm like, you don't have anything to be sorry about. We'll step out and come back in. And then all those kind of things. And then my husband was a resident at, it, at the time and he was coming home and saying, we saw the weirdest types of cancers today, like cancers that are so rare. I'm having to go to the book forum 
And I'm like, oh God, what do you think it is? Do you think it's, it's the food we're eating? Is it the water? He said, I definitely think it's environmental. And I'm like, no. You know, in my mind, all this stuff is playing out. And, and, and you know, when you're a new mom, you want to become super mom. And you want to make sure you're giving your children the best. You want to make sure you're around. If you can, if you can help it, you can do things to a, to help it. And I just did that, you know. I said, let let me try to get get it together because I am from Louisiana. Seafood was every day in our house, just about. You know what I mean? And you know, I just decided to make uh, changes for my lifestyle and my family's lifestyle. Yeah, I, I think that um, you were way ahead of the curve in terms of going natural, going vegan. And it, it, this is a perfect segue to come into the, the, the birth of Camille Rhodes. But before I go there, how many children did you have when you started Camille Rhodes? I know you have five children now, correct? Five now. I started when I had three. You started when you had three children. And I, I went from three kids to five kids because my second, they're twins. Okay, got you. The, the reason why I said you, you, you're the reason why the show is created. Yeah. It, it can be done. Like you literally had a successful business. You sell it. Yeah. You're a mom. Three children at the time. Yeah. You're a wife. Mm-hmm. And you still have the hours in the day because most women... I'm like, I'm exhausted. I'm a full-time mother. I, I don't have time to start a business. Like, it, it's nice that my physician husband is saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always wanted to start a business. Why don't you go do that? They, they, you know, that's a nice little hobby for you. Keep yourself busy while I go off to work. Right. But you did it. I did How it. did you find the time? And I ask you this because it's something I preach on the show all the time. There are more than eight hours in a day. People think that, that they can't find the time to do something. And then there's a Janelle Stevens who, yeah. who had every reason to give that excuse and still found time to create a multi-million dollar business. Yeah. So calling over comfort. Say that right. one more time. Calling, calling meaning your calling. Mm-hmm. You know what your calling is. You put that over your comfort level. Calling over comfort. And I think that there are no excuses. Like the whole, if, when I'm on a panel and people, I hear people say, step out on faith, quit your job and do this. Stuff. Well, I stepped out on faith, but I didn't quit my job because I know I still had to eat. So the mm-hmm. job that I was doing I did that during the day, stepped out on faith and did Camille Rose in the evening. I did Camille Rose when my kids were at their activities. I did Camille Rose when they were at school. I did Camille, you know what I'm saying? You can do this. You can do it. And what was so exciting for me was after hours when I had the time to work on Camille Rose, I was awake. I was energized. It was all good. I was excited because that was my passion. And my passion gave me the extra uh that I needed to get me through the day. My passion kept a smile on my face. My passion amazed the shit out of me. (laughs) It amazed the crap out of me because when I was in my kitchen formulating and testing it out, putting it on my skin and hair. I'm like, it's not good. Throw it away. I'm back at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was amazed that before I knew it, my kitchen table was full of all kinds of sand. It was uh, so amazing that I got so intrigued with ingredients. I got so intrigued with herbs that I completely forgot about all the other stuff I was doing beforehand or that I was supposed to be doing, I was supposed to be a therapist. You know, I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to be an herbalist. Let me, and this herb is dope. Like, and I was amazed that I found something else outside of 
my children that I, I will go hard for. I, I, I love in, in this, I, I, I want to zone in on this for a second because you just said calling over comfort, mm -hmm. which is so dope. Anybody watching this, listening to it on podcast form, you need to write that down. You need to tattoo it on your body. You need to really live by those words. Right. When you find your calling, it will, it, it will overtake. It will, will put you in what some would consider to be a very uncomfortable space because you're losing sleep. You're working 16, 18, 20 hours a day. But like you said, when it's your calling, when it's your purpose, yeah. that's when you feel the most alive. That's when you're like, oh, I'm in my zone and you start getting stuff done. You look up and be like, 10 hours just passed. Absolutely. Just now I got to get back to real life and, and, and work with my kids. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.